hey guys welcome back to another video so today's video is proudly sponsored by samsung as you can see we have a new tv new sound bar new fridge and new washing machine all from samsung so this video is going to be packed with a lot of organization a lot of cleaning so stay tuned for more details on all the products that i got from samsung this is one video that's just going to be packed with a lot of content You're going to be having a lot of fridge organization a lot of home decor a lot of cleaning so please stay tuned till the end and you will love this video and i hope you get motivation most importantly to clean your spaces I hate all this I got a few new uh, fridge organizers some of these are my old ones that I used in my other fridge but I got new ones um, that I want to wash then do a quick grocery run and then come arrange the fridge so this is part of my, sorry these are part of my old ones uh, but these ones are new this and these three these are part of my old ones and then I got some uh, butter, what are they called, dishes and then I finally got a um, salad spinner. I'll be using this to, once I wash like my berries, fruits, I'll be using this to spin them, to dry them before putting them in the fridge. Plus of course lettuce and then I got those um, glass jars with lid for extra like if you open a packet of milk and you have like um, some remaining you can put that there or a juice um, I'll explain to you guys later and then I also got a tree um, this one I'll also explain to you guys later I got that one and then um, these are some of my old ones like I said um, I don't know if I'll use this because it's off with the rest because the rest are clear acrylics and this one is greenish this is one of my old containers same to those two and that one so let me wash them leave them drying and then um go for a quick grocery run so of course i'm starting to clean um all the new containers that i got like i said earlier i'll just leave them drying then i go for a quick grocery run i haven't even had breakfast so i'm also going to grab some breakfast while i'm at it um so i'm just going to leave these ones drying then i come clean um or wash all the vegetables and the fruits that i'll get so that i can organize them in the fridge so i just wanted to share with you guys before you um go to the shop or whichever place uh to get uh, fridge containers always do your measurements first uh, measure your fridge the width the height the depth um so that you can see the sizes of containers to get also work with your grocery list and i'm not just saying the once in a lifetime grocery list no i'm saying the everyday grocery list things that you usually use on a weekly basis or on a daily basis so those are the containers you're going to get uh storage for you those are the grocery story you're going to get storage for so uh, it took a lot of like planning before you even go to the shop to try and get uh, storage containers it takes a lot of planning it takes a lot of um you just know knowing your house what goes um what is taken or what is consumed uh, daily or on a weekly basis and how to store them so that is what i did before this whole part of me showing you guys shopping and even cleaning uh for the groceries so yeah i just wanted to share with you guys so never ever go blindly otherwise you may end up with so many empty containers one they don't fit in the fridge or maybe they're too big or they're too small for what you want to put um in them so always just do your math <laughs> and do your planning before going to get um storage containers 
so um i want to throw this dish sponge that i've actually been using so before i throw it out i decided to wash my flower vase and you can see the flowers inside i've really stayed there for a while so i even got a new bouquet my weekly bouquet from calyx uh, flowers i'll show you guys in a few so i'm using liquid soap of course because i don't want to dip my sponge inside there um so i usually wash the vase then i put some uh, uh, flower food she usually delivers the flowers plus flower food and then i usually tell her to cut the stems for me so that's why you'll see me just dipping them in the vase without cutting the stems so yeah um i'll show you guys the arrangement and the bouquet she sent me i wanted to throw away this sponge so that's why <laughs> i was um cleaning the vase first So I'm all done. I'm just going to leave these ones here to air dry on their own. I don't want to use a lot of paper towels to dry them out. So um, like I say, I have a few errands to run. Then I'll come back and organize the fridge. Um, the containers on my right are actually clean. My day back washed them the day before. in the house it's time to wash the groceries and i'm starting with the hohos the red yellow and green ones and i saw this trick on youtube on um, instagram a lot you use uh, baking soda and water to wash vegetables it's more it's better than the okay i can't say it's better than the vegetable soap they're all the same but it's just that i got i didn't get the vegetable soap this time so i decided to use this trick of um using baking soda and water of course before we cook they'll also be washed again so this is this is just uh for storage purposes um in the fridge i, I like to store clean veggies at least clean veggies inside the fridge so here i'm also washing my lettuce i didn't use baking soda here so i just rinse them out then i'm putting them on the salad spinner to spin them a bit before i wrap them in clean flame and put them inside the fridge so for the lettuce i didn't um, remove them completely i didn't remove the leaves because um, i'll be doing that once i'm making the salad because i'll also be rewashing them again once i make the salad so i'm also washing my cauliflower and my broccoli so these ones i'll cut into pieces so that i can put in the um storage container but this trick of actually using baking soda and water works really really well um there was a lot of dirt that came out of these vegetables guys so it's such a quick and easy way to just wash your veggies uh, it doesn't need a lot of um, cleaning <laughs> you just need to rinse them off really really well so you can see even for the berries so these are the berries there's the blueberries and i didn't get strawberries today but i ended up getting them by the time i was finishing up with this video i got some strawberries and added them inside the fridge so um what was i saying so yeah uh, mostly the berries it's my son who takes them with oats so um, I usually have to make sure that I wash this myself so these ones I wash them really well but I also told the nanny to be rinsing them off um, before serving them to him because they won't be cooked he'll be eating them raw so yeah they need to be seriously washed so i put them on this um strainer and i mix them i mix the berries and the blueberries together because 
he eats them together there's no day he'll eat like a blueberry alone or the berries alone so i just uh, mix them together so yeah um i think the next thing i washed were grapes and um um what else yeah i think grapes are the last thing that i washed then i started packing everything inside the fridge so it took a lot of back and forth to organize the fridge but i finally got it right the way it works for us so again um every organization is just how um it works for everyone you don't need to arrange it the same way i do so yeah So as you can see, I also wrapped my hohos in cling film. This way they stay fresh for long. Plus I'm not going to be putting them in a um, container with a lid. They'll be in just in an open container. So that's why I also wrapped them. Same to my lettuce and cucumbers. So those ones, I always wrap them in cling film. They'll last a long, long, long time if you do that. So I'm also spinning the berries, but be careful here guys, don't spin uh, for long because you'll end up with uh, smashed berries so you just pin them spin them sorry um, a little bit to get the excess water out and then i put um, a paper towel at the bottom so so that it can soak any excess water then i'll remove it the next day as you can see i'm putting paper towels at the bottom but i'll also remove it the next day um, the containers actually come in a way that the excess water can be drained out but I just didn't want um, excess water staying on the containers in the fridge. So that's why I added paper towels and I'm going to remove them later on. So in this um, organizers is where I'm organizing the hohos. As you can see, this there are two hohos <laughs> that I didn't wrap in clean flame because those ones will use maybe today or tomorrow. So I didn't bother to wrap those ones. But for the rest, um, things that I know will last us weeks, I had to do it. And then uh, for the broccoli, and the cauliflower I ended up mixing them because um, the cauliflower I got was really really big it didn't fit in the container that I'll show you guys so I ended up mixing it with a bit of the broccoli again this is just uh, for this week uh, I don't intend them to last more than a week so uh, by the time they're being cooked they'll be okay they'll still be fresh So my new fridge is a Samsung 323 liters bespoke fridge. It came um, in the navy blue shade. <laughs> I love this shade. It has four drawers, a slim ice maker, a power freezer function, interior LED lights as you can see, and the door is reversible. I can switch it to the other side. It also has a door alarm for warning you like when your door <laughs> is opened uh, for long. Um, and it also comes with uh, a way you can convert either the entire fridge to be a freezer or the entire uh, the freezer part to be a fridge so since i have a freezer i converted my entire uh, fridge into a fridge so i didn't have any freezer compartment here so um of course before i arrange the fridge i have to clean it we had already cleaned it before when uh we got it uh there was no particular organization that was done in this fridge uh then because i knew i was going to organize it better so i switched it off and i'm using my vinegar mix to wipe it down and a paper towel um so yeah um i'm just for my own sanity i'm just wiping it again because right now i'm going to organize so many things inside it um so so it's just better if uh, for my own sanity, just clean it again. Oh, 
So how I arranged the fridge right now was not the end result. I ended up tweaking it a bit um, in the end. So I'll show you guys in the end how I rearranged it. But you can get the gist of how um, I somehow rearranged it. So what I did, the first three shelves, the open shelves you see, I put like drinks and fruits and um, the hohos as you can see, the sauces, the butters, and then um, things that are just neatly arranged. And then in the in the first drawer I also put like the vegetables, the lettuce and the broccoli but in the rest of the drawers I decided they will be for leftover foods, uh, you know things that are really hard to organize on a daily basis so they can be hidden inside the two drawers but for the top part that is open uh, immediately open the fridge that is the part that you see so those, that is the part I decided uh, will have like the sauces, the organized um like organized things and uh, drinks and everything and the yogurt and everything so for leftovers which are in different dishes different sizes uh, that i have no control over i decided those ones will be hidden in the drawers so in the end i was left with a lot of uh, storage space still for leftover foods or any extra food but i also didn't want to leave a lot of space for that so that food doesn't remain in the fridge for long so um, i'm cleaning the outside of the fridge with the, my vinegar mix also with the paper towel so uh, for those who are wondering the fridge is perfect size for us we had a lot of space left over we had a lot of uh space uh for putting all our drinks all our sauces all our fruits all our vegetables is just perfect the fridge is so silk sleek sorry <laughs> it's so sleek and i just love love um the size and just how it looks on the exterior So I changed the setup, um, the arrangement of the fridge on the top part, I put drinks alone and then here we have the sauces, butter and the berries, I added strawberries in those two containers or oh, we have more drinks here and um, the bell peppers are still there, we have the vegetables here leftover food is here and then the last not the last one this one has uh, more of the meats that we are going to eat um in a few days like this i want to cook tomorrow these ones are uh, usually snack on the hot dogs this ones is for breakfast tomorrow so once they stay here like two or three days i will move them to the freezer and then we have the last compartment which has carrots and then yeah i've had i've added <laughs> uh, more yogurt there as you can see so yeah this is the um setup now that i'm currently working with on the fridge so like i mentioned in my last vlog stem and carpet cleaners had picked my carpets to go and clean so they return them and they are just installing them back um as you can see for the living room dining nursery and corridor so they came back clean as usual smelling amazing and fresh these guys are so convenient to use by the way you just don't you don't lift a hand in doing anything so as you can see sage is here sage curtains and carpets she's here um i think i've also mentioned this in my last vlog she's doing new curtains for my living room and my dining space so she's taking measurements because the last time i took measurements for her i messed up her measurements <laughs> um speaking of the pink curtains you see currently so this time she insisted she's coming to take the measurements herself and they turned out amazing 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 always let them take the measurements themselves guys though please unless you're experienced <laughs> uh in that sector they know what they're doing um so um she took measurements for the sitting room and the dining and then i'm going to show you guys some samples she started uh she's expanded her business or rather she's now selling blinders for office and both for and also for home uh, so i'm just going to show you guys some of the samples she has for both office um 
and for the house she also she actually put blenders in my kitchen so we decided to try it out uh, so this is just a sample of the curtain that i chose that i was just trying to see if it uh, matches with my paint i didn't want it to clash because they're both uh, white so these are the samples of the blenders that i was telling you guys about so in case you want to renovate your office or even your home maybe the library or the the people who actually prefer blenders to cuttings in the house so as you can see she has amazing amazing prints and colors so you can also call her in case you also want this in your house or in your office So the next day I started on the living room, I needed to remove the curtains, wipe the uh, windows before Sage comes and installs the new curtains. So um, that's what I'm doing right now, I want to remove these curtains, uh, store them away, then wipe down the windows. I also decided to wipe down the couch, um, the carpet as you can see was clean, the floor was steamed in my last video, uh, if you didn't watch that we steamed uh, the floors when the carpets were not here. So basically behind the chairs and under the chairs and under the carpet it's all clean so the only thing remaining is the window side and the couch um i also washed the couch cushions covers um in like i think my last last vlog so they're pretty uh clean they're still clean so i'm just going to wipe the couch regularly the way i do with water and bleach <laughs> So I'm also removing my throw pillow covers to wash because I may change most of them. Um, don't mind the people outside, there's someone painting my TV stand and uh, yes that's my nanny outside with my son. So yeah I'm removing the covers to wash, they get dirty fairly quickly plus I'm changing most of them. I thought I was going to keep most of them but they kind of clashed with the new curtains that i got so i ended up ordering new throw pillow covers from smart lady homes so that they can just complete the look the way i wanted uh so basically i have two themes in this house so meaning uh, my old the pillows that i've just removed the ones that have greenish yellowish and pink they'll be going with a pink set of curtains because this ones they match perfectly uh, but for the new curtains i had to get now a whole new set of throw pillow covers which you will see later on in the video by the end by the time i was done with um, filming this day um the covers came re really late so i'm going to show you guys the end result at the end that is for the throw pillow covers i'm going to show you guys how i style the couch in the end In case you're new here, my couch is from Trend Furnishings. Um, I love this couch. It was neatly done. The stitching was perfect. I love the fabric. It doesn't catch any fur. I have so many cuts in this house. I've lost count. So um, the, 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 the material on the couch doesn't catch any fur. As you can see, it's very easy to clean. You don't even need to vacuum the couch. You just need to use a microfiber cloth and a wet microfiber cloth and you're good to go so um, in case you're wondering the couch is from trend furnishings and this couch is really really deep by the way it's not the regular uh, measurements of depth um, of regular couches uh, sorry if I'm missing my words it's late at night and I'm uh, <laughs> yeah so like I was saying the couch is from trend furnishings in case you're looking for one um, hit them up hit them up sorry 
<laughs> oh my gosh i need to sleep and um the coffee table is also from trend furnishings and also my console that i'll show you guys later on so today i went a, a bit uh extra and cleaned my wall clock i also cleaned my floor lamp i also cleaned my um roof lights <laughs> sorry uh, my my lights uh, my main lights are uh, also the wall lights i also clean them um, out and i'm also i'm just using my vinegar mix and microfiber cloth nothing else i'm using to clean them i like using my vinegar mix on uh, surfaces that are uh, shine or uh, glass surfaces because it doesn't leave any streak behind plus it gets the job done really really well plus i have my son around so i'm kind of minimizing um the amount of products that i'm using to clean the house so yeah this lamp was really really dirty can't believe uh, we've stayed with a lamp this start in the house So as you can see I also upgraded my washing machine to the Samsung Bespoke washer dryer. So it's 12 kg washer, 9 kg dryer. It has um, AI controls, smart Wi-Fi embedded, smart things app. It has an app, uh, smart things app support, eco bubble technology um, among others <laughs> it has a lot of settings i'm going to show you guys in a few all the settings that the machine comes with so i'm loading up the machine with my throw pillow covers to wash and the thing i love about this machine is it's very efficient uh, when it comes to soap to soap so where you put your soap in case you put excess the machine just takes what it needs and leaves the rest there you can go three loads and you still have soap in the soap compartment i found that to be very awesome <laughs> So as you can see sage curtains and carpets are here to install my new curtains and shears and I love the new look. I love the new look. So we went with these three pin um, gathers. I think that's what it's called. Uh, the three pin gathers on the shears. We didn't go with the other one that i am used to so this time i decided to go with full gathers even uh without curtains the shears cover the windows really really well uh don't mind the painter at the side he was fixing something on my focal wall anyway so um like i said they're here to install the uh, the curtains so i'm changing all the shears in my house i think my bedroom has this design the nursery has the, has this same same design but i i love i love 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 the quality of her work the stitching the she's really come from far we were actually laughing at that the other day <laughs> she's really really come from far when it comes to her business her work right now is really 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 awesome and i'm here for it she's she's really come a long way I really love the gathers also for these curtains i'll show you guys the full look later on but you can see how beautiful they are plus they have just full gathers and uh, clearly i can't take measurements for curtains <laughs> so anyway um i also requested her to help me uh put back my tv so the tv that we got again <laughs> it's a new tv it's a samsung uh qled 65 inches uh and it also came with a sound but oh the sound bar is awesome
So these are the remotes that came with the TV and the soundbar. The taller one is for the soundbar, uh, the shorter one for the TV. And the thing I like about this is you can control the soundbar with the remote for the uh, TV. You don't need to use both uh, remotes. And the remotes for the TV is uh, solar powered, so you don't need batteries for it. Plus, it's very compact. It's very light. Um, I really love this whole uh, package of the Samsung TV and the soundbar. The soundbar comes with a smaller speaker. Um, I didn't show you guys in this video, but I'll show you guys in my next video. So that done, I'm just finishing up on the living room, vacuuming the carpet. Um, like I said, I didn't do the throw pillow covers, but you can see how the curtains have just brightened up the space. The wall looks bigger right now because um, it's all white, um, the entire wall. So I also returned the console. I went a bit back and forth with the console on the deco. I really wanted to change the deco on it, but um, I ended up just putting the same, same things there but maybe in future i may change the deco on top of the console so um so i finished with the console went to the dining off camera but i'll show you guys how the dining room looks like So I've added the baskets from Smart Lady Homes there. Um, I'm thinking of taking this thing to the nursery because uh, it's spoiling the vibes. But anyway, um, I've put his some of his toys inside here. And I know they look a bit crooked, but it's because they're new. They'll straighten up with time, but that's how they look. Um, it's more neater like that. So yeah. So I've added this um, table runner that I also got from Smart Lady Homes. Um, really love the black and white <laughs> uh, pattern it has um, on it. And then there's someone who's coming to fix for me that um, gallery wall. But next week she couldn't make it this week. So for now it just stays as is. <laughs> but um, there's someone who'll come and fix it next week. So that one I'll share in next week's video. But for now this is how the space looks like. Looks like. <laughs> really beautiful and stemine carpet cleaners um return the dining carpet um you remember they hadn't washed this one so they picked it and uh, um it's already washed you can see how clean it is so yeah this is how the space looks like love love it so we went with the this really strong shear it's raining outside sorry for the background noise so we went with this really heavy shear for the dining we didn't put any cuttings because then the space um would have been so congested so we decided to do shear alone for the dining and we love i actually felt like doing shears in the entire house so i really 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 love this look and i mean sage has come from far if, so the door usually just has a cutting on it 24 7 so we decide you can see how the 
the shears kind of just go together so it usually has a curtain on it 24 7 which makes the room a bit dark but now with the shear we can draw the curtains and it brightens up the space but i love i love and to think i was hesitant on changing these curtains so i was saying i really really love you can hear my son you can hear it raining uh sorry i know there will be a lot of background noise in this voiceover so you can see i really 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 love this it has opened up it has really opened up the room it looks really bright i'm even contemplating whether to put my uh through pillow covers here because now the white really looks lovely um and then she got me this lovely pearl uh cutting holders uh, i think these ones are really really cute so she got me pearl on all the cuttings so i was even asking my nanny if she would be able to do this every day <laughs> she'll be able to roll the cuttings like this every day and just arrange them this looks so nice i love the covers on the shears oh, it looks nice so we changed the shears also i think you saw that they have this lovely pattern oh and it's even heavy it's a better quality than what i've been having in the house so yeah this is so beautiful i love love the trans i love the transformation so much you can see how it has opened up so i'll show you guys how it looks at night once we close um the entire window i'll show you guys how it looks at night so i'm just waiting for this one um like two or three covers i've not tried completely um because they are really heavy so i'm just waiting for them to dry then i'll fix this place up and my son drew on this ah uh, coffee table so i don't know i'll just leave it be So the other thing we did uh, is changing the whole cutting situation of the kitchen. So we removed the rods and we remained with, um, they put blinds on that part of the window. So this part they put tint so you can't see from outside. So this one will remain open. It will bring in also a bit of light into the space. So, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> so I want to... I want to put the blinds down so that you can see how it looks up. So there are two ways you can draw the blinds. Um, you can leave the spaces in between in case you want some light. Or you can just shut them down completely like that. So this is more of like, like for at night. Sorry the lighting is a bit off like I said it's a very dark outside right now. So yeah I love this. And you guys remember I have painted my... Uh, kitchen pink so they really really go hand in hand with the blinds right now oh this looks so lovely i will I'll, I'll try and take a better video for you guys but um this is the current sorry for the sink is full uh we've not been able to clear out they've just left actually so this is how the space looks like it's really beautiful i love this i really love this so you can just uh, draw the blinds up so that you can do your things use water even if it catches water she said it's very easy to clean but um you'll just be pulling them up um to avoid any dirt or anything uh, so yeah this is so nice it's so cute oh so next day after work it was time to clean my room and um i know the bed is made but i'm about to strip it down because i need to change the duvet cover and the bed sheets um so i got this really beautiful uh, duvet cover again from smart lady homes and speaking of smart lady homes they have a november flash sale of 15 to 50 percent off on most of the items actually the throw pillow covers i showed you guys in my last vlog are all on offer plus um i got more from them so i'm not sure about the duvet cover if it's on offer but you can check with them so they're having a 15 to 50 percent off on um most of their items 
so i just thought that um i'd add that also the duvet that i'm using is also from smart lady homes the big white um throw pillows that i chopped in the middle <laughs> are also from smart lady homes the white bed sheet that i'm going to put on the bed is also from them so also all my throw pillow covers that you see on my bed are also from smart lady homes when you're young, when you're restless so in our room i wasn't doing much uh, i was just doing my weekly cleaning the way i usually do in most of my videos so before i put fresh beddings on the bed i usually wipe the uh, frame of the bed plus the bedside uh, stands or bedside table sorry <laughs> i also wiped down the windowsill um, then vacuumed the carpet um, cleaned the big mirror and then now i move to the bathroom So this is the new duvet cover that I got from Smart Lady Homes. Um, again, I'm trying to move away from plain white duvet covers and um, trying out patterns. As you can see, it's double sided. You can also use the black and white side, uh, but I loved this uh, tree print better. So I'm going to use like one week this tree print, then I'm going to turn the duvet to the other side and use the other print. I uh, really love it. The texture is really, really nice. Again, um, the size of my duvet is 8.5 by 7.5, same to the duvet cover. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so so lastly i'm moving to the master bathroom and i'm not going to be doing any deep cleaning here my day bag was here yesterday she deep cleaned the entire bathroom like i've said this so many times she's the one who cleans our bathroom these days i only come in to clean maybe the sink and the loo on a daily basis uh, but today i really needed to clean this shelf and disinfect everything in in it so i'm just removing all the planters all the pots um and clean cleaning the shelf itself so you saw you also saw me spraying uh the planters with disinfectant that's how i clean my four uh plants so i just spray them with disinfectant then i uh, rinse them off and then dab them dry so i didn't show the entire process but that's just how i clean them on a regular basis so uh, like i said i just cleaned the shelf uh all the pots and all the plants i also ended up throwing our toothbrushes i didn't show you guys that so um i just cleaned the shelf 
I, sorry, I just cleaned the shelf, uh, restocked all the tissues, and then uh, cleaned my makeup brushes. I think I, I was saying that in my last vlog, I need to clean my makeup brushes. So that is what I did next. Next, I cleaned my makeup brushes and uh, also cleaned the sink. But basically, she's the one who cleans the bathroom these days. I just usually come in to freshen it up here and there. Um, and that is just the loo, maybe, and the sink. So to clean my makeup brushes, I'm using uh, Morning Fresh Antibacterial Liquid Soap. I usually prefer the antibacterial one. That's what's in this tiny bottle. And I'm also using this brush cleaner I got from Miniso. Um, so basically just uh, apply a bit of soap on it, uh, wash the brushes, rinse, and then leave them to air dry on their own. Just stay quiet under the place where all this big 